This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, GoProvidence.com has brought us a new place. So new, it's not even open yet. Chef owner of Active Eats, Pietro Berta, is here. Stout Irish Sports Pub. You're kind of doing a couple different things in one, yes? We are, yes. We're, um, we're actually, our concept is um, traditional pub food, but we're also going to have um, healthy options to pub food on our menu. I love that. We were talking about uh, burgers too, which we are making a burger today. Sometimes even when I get a burger, now people stack them with so many great items. You almost don't even want the bun because you want to fill up on, on everything else. So do, by doing so, that's kind of a healthier take on it, right? So that's what we're doing here today. Um, there is no bun on this mm -hmm. burger. The bun will actually be uh, breaded eggplant. Um, Yum. It's actually not going to be breaded with actual breadcrumbs. We're using almond meal, which is a great substitute for breadcrumbs if you're ah. trying to be healthy, a little lower carb, healthy fats. And now you, you can find that in more markets nowadays. Absolutely. Um, Trader Joe's is one market. You can always find that. You can always mm -hmm. find almond flour as well, which is much finer. It's more of a flour substitute, but mm -hmm. the almond meal is much more coarse and works better as a breading substitute. Yeah, it kind of mimics that breadcrumb Absolutely. that we're used to. So we <clears> have that. We have the eggplant. What else would we need? So we have heirloom tomatoes, baby arugula. We have 85% uh, lean um, um, grass-fed beef, mm -hmm. fresh mozzarella, <clears throat> excuse me, um, eggs to help um, batter the eggplant, yep. and then just a little salt, pepper, and uh, garlic powder, and that's going to go in the breading as well. Yum. It sounds <clears throat> delicious. Like we said, kind of a healthier take on the burger that you're used to. We'll get cooking in just a bit. Thanks so much, friend. GoProvidence.com brings us Active Eats. It's a brand new place. Chef and owner Pietro is here, and we have to get going. We have a, a different take on a burger. The bun is actually eggplant. Breaded or almond breaded eggplant, yes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this almond meal. Mm-hmm. Which you said the, the meal is a lot similar to breadcrumbs as opposed to the almond flour. Exactly, exactly. Um, so now we have a little garlic powder to season it. Mm. There we go. Didn't come out too good. Salt. Okay, all of this you already How about half of it? Okay. Perfect, because we'll use that again later for the arugula Great. and pepper. Awesome. We'll just mix this up quick. And you have a little bit of egg batter too. How about how many eggs did you use? I used four eggs there, mm -hmm. depending on how many pieces you're going to do. The pieces you you sliced. Oh yeah, thick. nice and thick. You'll see when we uh, when we stack it up at the end why I do that. Mm -hmm. Well, it definitely helps. Eggplant, I know, gets a little mushy as you cook it, so you need something that's going to hold up to it. Right. So this, once you bread it and get it in the oven, it's going to be nice and creamy on the inside. Okay. So we'll do egg first. Crunchy on the outside. Flip there you that go. Over. And get a nice coat of that almond flour on there. Here we go. You be the, you be the dry okay. hand, chef. I'll okay. do the I'll Sounds do the good. egg. Perfect. <laughs> you do the breadcrumb. Awesome. Now you have a lot of different takes like this, because, like you said, I know you're combining pub food and kind of healthier options as well. We do, so we're gonna have your traditional pub option and then side by side will be a healthy option. Not mm -hmm. every item, but we'll have a, a ton of uh, restaurant quality uh, health options. You know what, that's so nice too, especially like in the summertime or, or just not every day. You wanna enjoy that delicious pub food, but sometimes it, it sits so heavy in your stomach that if you can have a lighter version of it, it's a nice option. Absolutely, we, we were thinking, you know, you want to watch the game on a Sunday? Mm-hmm. Your choices are usually nachos, burgers, and a lot of fried foods. So right. we want to give people the Nothing option to eat that. lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, even if you mix a couple of those into, into <clears throat> your meal there. All right, so time and temp on the eggplant? Yes, yeah, so um, 400 degrees. Um, I like to look, you can tell when it gets a nice brown color on the outside. Mm -hmm. You can actually like touch the top of it, make sure it's a little crispy. Nice and crispy. Exactly. Perfect, we're gonna let that go and then we'll pile up our burger in the final segment. Back in the kitchen one last time with our Caprese Burger. Yum, Active Eats is a new spot, Stout Irish Sports Pub. Little of everything. You get your pub food, Love you get it. some healthy eating at the same time. We got the burger going on the grill right now. It's like a sauna in here. It's fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Good we'll start stuff. the fan on just a bit. You know, anytime you. Use that grill pan at home, gets pretty smoky. But where sure. are you in the preparation process? You've been hard at work in here. Okay, so well, we're gonna flip this burger in a second. Maybe we can um, get a couple slices of tomato going. Oh, you don't have to ask me twice. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, Brendan, you can do it. Slices of Play tomato. Right there. Yeah, perfect. Oh gosh, your thumb. <laughs> what? See, this is why you, you want me to do this stuff. This I have a, another tomato. See, that's not too. bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. There's a standby. There's an understudy tomato standing by, and so that's one. Right? 
You need it right That'll now? Work. Uh, you can actually just leave it right on there for now. There you go. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Hope everyone's recording this. Oh, we are. And there then a go. nice thick slice of that uh, fresh mozzarella cheese. From the side. In the meantime. Now. There you go. About that big. That'll work. That'll work. Perfect. Oh, right there. That's and it. In the meantime, we'll dress this arugula, which is going to go over the top. A little okay. olive oil, a little lemon juice. Yum. Salt. Pepper. Let's mix that up. It's going to be so good. What a creative take on a burger. A great way to do it. Summertime. Yeah. It is, it is a, a nice take. Now, Chef, you said you're going to be opening, um, gosh, in September, which really is not too far away. Yes, September 7th, we're opening for the Patriots opener. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be open with a limited menu up until September 29th. We have the Young Dubliners. They're an, uh, a nationally touring Irish band coming in for our grand opening party. Cool. That sounds awesome. And where are you located? We are located at 50 Exchange Terrace. Um, that's the old Rira. I'm sure people will remember that. Great yeah. location right down there. Absolutely. And Good Rhode Island Directions, sure. yeah, exactly. too. Remember where that used to be? That's where we are now. <laughs> where is it in relation to Zare? <laughs> to where? No, to Zare. It's an old Rhode Island landmark. Okay. I'm a very old man. He's just messing with yeah. I'm going to check on this, um, this eggplant. You had that going at about 400 degrees, so yeah, that'll got, crisp up nicely. We'll take this out. And oh, this man, is our is. our bun, essentially. Yes, exactly. Outstanding. What are some of the other items that you have on the menu in addition to this caprese burger? Okay, so we're gonna have like our um, we're gonna have like traditional Irish pub fare, so mm -hmm. bangers and mashed, uh, corned beef and cabbage, Yum. fish and chips, and then of course you know like your your burgers and uh, wings and things like that. Um, and then there'll always be. A bunch of different healthy options that actually come off of the uh, the, the Active Eats menu too, which is a meal prep delivery service that that I run and will be running the kitchen. And that's out. so nice. So many people are busy and they're on the sure. go and they need something something quick but something healthy at the same time. So that's a great option too. And I bet sure. I'll be able to get a nice pint or two while I'm down there. Oh, absolutely. So <laughs> we'll be doing uh, stout tastings. Uh, we're gonna have 13 beers on tap. Yum. Sounds good. My Saturday night's <laughs> Uh, but so a, a great spot for that pub-like atmosphere for the game, or just a great dinner as well, I'd imagine. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, man. We have uh, 13 TVs, two of them being huge projection screens, so that'll be really cool. And Look what this I'm doing to help you out. You need oh, the other great. tomato? Okay, um, right actually, the, the burger goes next, so <laughs> oh, all right. we're almost done with this burger. And this is great, because I know you're talking about people might think they're going to miss out on the bun, or they're going to miss out on it because it's healthy, it won't fill me up. The slices are huge. You have a giant slice of eggplant, giant slice of tomato, thank you Brennan, a, a great <laughs> size sure. burger and then cheese, more tomato, more eggplant. That's going to fill you right up. Oh, absolutely. It will get a little messy because it's going to be really tall, well, but okay. a burger is supposed to be messy. Yeah. Exactly. That's so, part of the burger experience. Let's get this burger on there. That Ooh. looks awesome. See, I've cut the tomato on an angle, so <laughs> it looks like the burger is It's okay. Insane. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't topple it's okay. over. Excuse it's like me. The, it's got to go home. Now, Leaning Tower of Burger. Thinking about taking a nap this afternoon. It's going to be delicious, though. Oh, my goodness. Wow. There we go. Must be One endlessly rewarding for you to create things like this. Oh, this is great. This is this something is I used to make at burger. home. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I mean, I have a big goodness. mouth, but I don't know if it can get around. <laughs> that looks so cool. And then here we have... Um, this is a reduction of honey and balsamic vinegar. Oh, man. Yum. What a gorgeous presentation right there. It just is. Just drizzle that. And then I had some olive oil. Excuse oh, me. I, I put it just away. I was trying touch. to clean up, Chef. It's wow. It's a work of art. This is that the guy. That looks so cool. This is Pietro Verte from, of course, Stout Irish Sports <laughs> Pub, soon to be opening. Michaela, you ready to take a bite? Uh, yeah, I'll work We're on that. We're going to have to knock this thing over to We're you. We're going to work on that. He's here, courtesy of GoProvidence.com. Thank you very much, sir. Best Thank of you. luck to you.